In a quiet word at the National Hospital Abuja, Rose Ogi sits on her hospital bed, her battle with lung cancer written in her every breath. The usual bus of patients here at the hospital is absent, a stark reminder of the ongoing resident doctor's strike. Yet, here Rose remains cared for and comforted. For patients like Rose, the National Hospital is not a building or a place of getting the care she needs at times like this. Established in 1999, the National Hospital has since evolved into a center of care for all, regardless of age or gender. It has served as a training ground for a number of our experts in the medical field. The first institution to have a LENAC machine in the whole of West African sub-region. As at today, we are about the lowest cost in terms of IVF. We also boss of the first trauma center in the sub-region. From its advanced technology to the countless healthcare professionals trained within its walls, it has become a pillar of hope and healing for many requiring complex medical procedures. For Rose and many others, this hospital is more than just a facility. Then they treat me well, well then they take care of me. Major challenges facing the hospital is paucity of funds to carry out its routine activities and to complete ongoing projects. Cost of diesel and cost of electricity it really takes a big chunk of what we are able to generate. Professor Raji believes that isn't this burden will require more than just internal solutions. He is calling for public-private partnerships to step in, especially to support the care of indigent patients 